Marpa. Well, thank you so much, Chamberlain. I have with me in the studio two very gentle men here. Uh, Mr. Emeka Etiaba joins us. He's a senior advocate of Nigeria. Uh, we also have with us Hamza Gudaji, who is a member of the All Progressives Congress and also a legal practitioner. Gentlemen, you're welcome to Sunrise Daily. Thank you. Thank you. I'll ask you one quick question. Do you think that this list that has been released by the APC uh, government is a good sign, Mr. Emeka? Just yes or no, then we'll go into the reasons. Um, I, I think uh, everything is wrong with that list, and I'll elaborate. Okay. Uh, just, just a moment before you elaborate. Hamza, what do you think? I think the list should have come much earlier. Okay. So let's start with you then. You're going to elaborate, Mr. Etiaba. Yes, uh, thank you very much. I, I must tell you that uh, this is a well thought out plan by the ruling party and the government to change the narrative <clears throat> in this country. You realize that in the past five days, all people are talking about is names of looters. And all of a sudden, people have forgotten about men, farmers, clashes, hunger in the land, unemployment, and all and all. And so it's a good plan. It's a good... Um, you think it's diversionary? It's very diversionary. That is one. And then you talk about the least. Um, so sad that at least I know of one person who did not collect money from the Office of the National Security Advisor, whose name uh, featured prominently as number one, Prince Secondus. We're going to cut this money, and I expect that the government will come out and demonstrate and prove to Nigerians that he collected money. Because what you see is that this is a target on a certain political party called the People's Democratic Party. And the, the, the narrative goes that PDP plundered the money that belongs to the nation. PDP is not a human being. Human beings make up a party. There's no political party that has its agenda or mission or vision as uh, that of let's go in and plunder. It is human beings that, that plunder. And I must tell you that um, from the local government level to the presidency in Nigeria, in times past and today, the economies are hemorrhaging. People are stealing money. In other words, there, in, is, there uh, is plundering going on. Going on, going on. went on before, still mm -hmm. going on. And there's need to do something about it. It shouldn't be partisan. I, I like what the federal government is doing. At least they've brought the issue of fight against corruption to the fore. It's being discussed. People are conscious of it. So when people are stealing now, they know that they could be caught. So but that, Mr. Mm -hmm. just a moment. What do we then make of the fact that every time we talk about, I mean, you acknowledge that this country is hemorrhaging. Yes. The country has been bled. Yes. I mean, people have plundered this country. Yes. But the question is, every time we ask, who did it? It looks like nobody ever owns up to say, you know, we are responsible or we take responsibility for this. Why do you think that is so? That is so because we do not tell ourselves the truth. You know, what is going on now is more like the story in the Bible where the publican went to apologize, beg God for forgiveness of sins, and the Pharisee says, you know, I'm, I'm not a sinner, I have never sinned, and all that. That is what is going on. What has triggered what is going on is because uh, the, 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 the chairman, national chairman of PDP came out to say we are sorry, and now the APC now stands in judgment against the PDP. It is not enough. Bring back the loot. Who says that APC was able to win the election of 2015? We've been told how much PDP plundered. And they, they used it for that election. And APC went to the same, into the same election and was able to win that election. Don't forget that it's on record that vote buying is an illness in Nigeria. And it also happened in 2015 election. Where did APC get that money with which they triumphed over PDP that had so much? We have to tell ourselves the truth. This is a time to say the truth. The truth is that all have sinned. Politi politicians have sinned. They should come clean. APC, PDP, Social Democratic Party, Let's talk about, not talk about political parties. So would it have been satisfying for you if you had seen the names of APC and PDP people on that list? I wouldn't have been satisfied because some of those names are in court. And we know that when a matter is in court, it is sub -judice. 
And what it means is that nobody should talk about it until the courts make their findings. And in some cases, somebody was charged for receiving that he received the sum of 400 million uh, when he ought to reasonably have known that that money came from UNSA. And then on the list, he was indicted for collecting 1.4 billion naira. That's the case of Chief Oli Sameto, mm. which of which I am involved from the start till date. So that is a problem. If a matter is in court, it's in court. And we're talking about impunity. I'm going to ask you to please hold your thoughts. Let's ask Hamza's thoughts here. Um, you know, you have said that you wish this list came earlier. Why? Well, we all know the level of corruption that has bedeviled this country for quite some time. Now, this government uh, came with an agenda to vociferously fight corruption. So there was high expectation that the government will come out full guns blaring, you know, and fight corruption. Now, to a certain extent, the government has done very, very well. But there were certain things that were not done. For example, publishing a list of all those that have bled this country dry is something that should have been a first step towards addressing the issue of corruption in this country. Because people still, and they move about it with impunity, as if to say nothing can happen. Now, it was rather preposterous for the PDP to come out and dare the federal government to list out those that looted the treasury. As if to say, people have forgotten what they have done. Now, the media was awash with stories of what these people have done, including the chairman of the PDP. It was all reported in the media. So it was sort of baffling for them to come out and say, we dare you to name those that are corrupt, when the media was already awash with stories of all they have done. And I was also amazed and surprised that the media, because the publicity secretary of the PDP made this daring uh, allegation, you know, before the media, and nobody took it up. Some people will say nobody that, you took know, it up it, I mean, him. Mr. Chaba just said that the PDP is not a human being. And the, some of the members of the PDP have felt that, you know, everybody was being tarred with the same brush, and they didn't like it. They said, why don't you just name those people, prosecute them, and shame them? Why do you have to tie everybody in our party as being corrupt? Because, because it was released within a peculiar context. The PDP dared the federal government to reel out a list of PDP members that are corrupt. And incidentally, even the person steering the affairs of PDP had already been alleged of receiving monies. It was a 